Hi, my name is Ariana, and this is Limbo Darling. Welcome, if you're new, or welcome back if you're old. So, I've never done something like this before, but to be honest, the concept has always been a part of my videos. I really love sustainable fashion, and it's never been the forefront of my videos, even though it's always kind of been a part of them. I've always included clothing that I've owned for years, and if not, it's either clothing that's new for me, that's secondhand, or that's from sustainable brands. I don't want to make it sound like I'm perfect because I'm really not perfect at all. I still buy fast fashion. I'm a student, so I'm on a student budget, but sustainable fashion is definitely something that's important for me and it's important for this channel. So. Today, I wanted to do a haul. A haul of clothing that I've bought secondhand or that is sustainable. This haul includes pieces from all the way back from the summer to now. So, my first piece is actually a piece that I found at Fripstach, which is a vintage shop here in Paris. And it's just a little bit more expensive than normal thrift shops, but still pretty good prices. And you can really find some good things. Uh, this piece is, of course, this leather jacket. I've actually worn this jacket in quite a lot of videos, including my most recent video, which I have linked above. So check it out if you're interested. It's been a great jacket. I really was looking for something that was a longer leather blazer, I guess you could say, because it's a little bit easier to style with, at least right now when it's in trend. It's been great to layer on top of sweaters or t-shirts when it's warmer out. It's definitely not a winter jacket, but it was great this fall and during colder nights in the summer. I'm excited for the spring to wear it more. It's a leather jacket. Unfortunately, I didn't see this when I bought it, but there's a hole in it. It's honestly not the biggest deal. It's at the back of the arm. So to be honest, you can't even really see it, especially when it's on. But it's still something to keep in mind, especially when you're secondhand shopping. So my next piece I got off of Vinted in November, and it is this And Other Stories top. It's see-through, so it's great if you want to go out at night and wear like a, a black or a navy blue bra, which of course isn't that possible right now due to the current circumstances but it's also fun to wear during the day as maybe a bit more put together of a piece and of course you would just wear a new bra <laughs> instead i really love it because it has such special details especially on the sleeves it's a very almost like 1980s or victorian looking piece it's made from synthetic material, which is something that I usually try to avoid, mostly just because synthetic material really shows uh, sweat, <laughs> but then also it's usually less easy to clean than like a cotton or a linen piece. However, with this piece, since it's so special, I honestly don't really care. It's more of a cropped piece, so it's great to wear with denim jeans or higher waisted skirts. So yeah, I'm really happy that I found this on Vinted. It's I believe at the time that I bought it was current season and other stories, but I got it for half off, so that was cool. And it was pre-owned, so that was also cool. <laughs> My next two pieces I bought off the same time, also on Vinted, and this was in January. The first one I am so happy that I found because I cannot wait to wear it until the spring and summer when we can actually wear dresses again and that don't include tights. <laughs> It is this Paloma wool dress that is just absolutely gorgeous. It's really long, I think it comes down to about my calves, and there's a slit at the bottom so it's not too constraining, but the really cool part is, is that it's, it's one-shouldered and the back part is actually completely backless, so it's very kind of sexy but also like perfect for the summer in the south, I'm imagining they're just nice summer parties. I really love the motif of this. It's almost the very like Adam and Eve-esque type of motif because there's a snakes and a naked woman. I really love Paloma wool in general because the, the quality is just really beautiful. I believe it's 100% linen, so it feels just very 
comfortable and um, as I said I prefer natural fiber so that's great. It's a zip in the back so it's easy to put on and off. I will just say the only thing is is that since my boobs I guess are a bit smaller than what the dress uh, asked for or was measured for more <laughs> was more the word it can be a little bit loose on top but that just means because the straps in the back are adjustable that it just goes tighter also on a side note I've noticed that even though it's linen it doesn't seem to wrinkle easily so that seems to be promising I hope for the summer when it's a lot hotter that the clothing won't end up wrinkled by the end of the day I am super excited to be able to wear this dress soon and I cannot wait. So the second piece that I got in this little mini haul in January is this House of Sunnies jacket. It's definitely more spring time appropriate. So it's actually been great because it's been a little bit warmer here this past weekend. So I was able to finally wear it and it is so cool. At first it seemed almost a little too loose for me which I was kind of disappointed about because it looked almost like it was overtaking my body. But I've come to really love it and I especially love the sleeves. I think originally this was the main part as to why I didn't really like it was because it cinches in at the wrist and it almost looks like it was made kind of poorly. However, it gives a really cool bell effect on your arm so it, it just makes for a, a little bit cooler looking of a jacket than what you would kind of expect for something like this. It almost has like military details, like these clips at the top. And so yeah, it's been a lot of fun to style, so I'm excited to continue styling it through the spring. The next section of this haul are going to be from Sustainable Brands. I don't buy that much from sustainable companies just because it's a little bit more expensive. However, it's still a good route to take, especially if the clothing is from recycled materials or from materials that already exist and need to be repurposed. So the first one I actually got for my birthday in November uh, as a gift. It is this really cool light t-shirt from Base Range. And so it's cropped once again, and it has almost that like 90s, I, I don't know, I feel like I'd be going to a rave in this, which I really love. It's a bit see-through, so of course you need to uh, check what bra you're wearing with it, depending on what vibe you want to give, but it's been a great layering piece so far, and I really love the exposed stitching and uh, the different colors. And my last piece is the most recent piece I bought, which was actually last weekend at Gallery Lafayette, and it is Girlfriend Collective Leggings. I was in desperate need of a new pair of leggings and I wanted to try for a sustainable brand. As far as I know, Girlfriend Collective is possibly the most sustainable but also inclusive, as in body inclusive, brand out there. Um, so these particular leggings are made of plastic bottles and I believe also synthetic fibers to make it stretchy. It's their compression leggings. They feel really good on the body. They're definitely not too tight uh, and also not too thin, which is great. They're such a soft feeling material, so they feel really nice and very comfortable and just really easy to move around in. So I definitely understand the hype now for these leggings and I'm so excited to continue to wear them and to use them. So I hope you enjoyed my haul. That's it for me now. If you did, please subscribe and like below and I'll see you again. Bye.